Shivali, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm your sister. I'm 24 years old. I was born in the United States, but I've grown up in Sweden and Switzerland. I am a lawyer and I want to specialize in human rights. And for fun, I run a fashion Instagram and I also like to play the violin and piano. How do you find being a third culture kid? For me, being a third culture kid involves three different parts. The first one is that um, you're born in a different place to where your parents are from. Um, second, uh, your parents are from a different place to where you're born. And the third is that you have grown up in a country different to the previous two. So there are three slash four countries involved, making it third culture. What are some things you've had to come to terms with being a third culture kid? I think one thing that I've had to come to terms with is that we didn't get to experience our parents' culture the way they did. Many things have changed as time has gone on, even um, in India. And there's certain festivals, certain customs, rituals, traditions, some things we don't really know about or we know about them, but we haven't experienced them the way they should be celebrated or the way they are when you have all the people around, the cultural context, the ingredients. Um, so I think that's something which I've had to come to terms with as a third culture kid. Looking back, did you feel you were in a bubble before? Yes, definitely. And I really discovered I was in a bubble when I left Switzerland and went to university. First of all, because Switzerland is a very clean, very beautiful and very safe country. So in that sense, Switzerland was a bubble. And within that bubble was the international third culture uh, community bubble. And I really felt that I was in a bubble at university because I met people who never really went to school with other kids from different countries and to me I thought that was shocking but then I realized actually no I was the one in the bubble because I went to an international school and it was a very privileged very rich education which it's not necessary that everyone has received that and yeah so I did think I was in a huge bubble. Since being a third culture kid how do you believe it changed the way you define home? I think for me, it has changed the way I define home because for, for me, home is where my family is and that is in Switzerland. So being a third culture kid, growing up somewhere completely different to where we are from, it just feels like home here because our parents are here. We've spent so much time here, but yeah, home is where the family is in my opinion. How has being a third culture kid shaped the way you see the world? I think it has changed the way I see the world in a couple of ways. One is that the world isn't as big as we think it is. Being a third culture kid, I've had friends move all, of, all around the world and eventually you start to meet people and have mutual friends who have gone to the same school as other friends and you run into them later in life whether at university or at work or postgraduate studies you run into the same circle of people and that is really cool because it makes the world a bit smaller another way is that it has broadened my vision of the world in the sense that I just I don't only think about the country I live in or the country I'm from I think the international education that we have received you start to think about the global community and how we can help the whole world because we meet and study with 
children from all over. So you have to take into account that there are bigger problems that we can help with. What are some experiences you've had that you believe are unique? I think one experience which was really unique is that in my school growing up, we went on field trips all around the world. Um, you, normally you would have a field trip during the summer around Switzerland, but after grade six in middle school, we actually ventured outside of Switzerland and we went to some pretty cool places. One time we went to Istanbul, another time we were in Kathmandu in Nepal for a service trip, um, another time we were in Spain, in Italy, such as Florence and Venice, and those were some really, really cool experiences which were very unique and incredibly special. How would you summarize your experience growing up as a third culture kid? I would describe it as a very lucky experience, a very enriching experience. I'm so glad I'm a third culture kid and I get to identify with many different cultures and not just be from one country. Um, and I think that is a very, uh, just a great thing to have, to be able to relate to many different types of people and to learn about different cultures. I think it's such a important thing to have, especially in our world today.